Just waiting for the recording to start. Okay, the recording has started. As we go through today, if you have any questions, go ahead and send them in with the Q&A box. Um, that's what I'll be looking at as we go through today. Um, I don't have room on my screen for all the other little chats and hands and things like that. So any questions as we go through, go ahead and raise your hand. Um, I will be stopping here occasionally to take a drink of water. It is still very cloudy here. Um, or not cloudy, smoky, I guess, and my, my throat's um, feeling the worst for it. Um, and one other bit of housekeeping, if my router decides to reboot again, um, go ahead and join back in. Um, I will resume and, and continue the presentation until we get to the finish. Um, hopefully it'll stay up though through the remainder of this. Um, so today we're talking about Nebula and how it helps you out with zero touch installations. Um, as some of you may have noticed, there seems to be some sort of global pandemic going on, um, which has led to a lot of states, counties, cities to implement various measures to implement what's called social distancing, um, trying to prevent the spread of the virus um, by keeping people away from each other. So this is something that's been going on for a while now. I know there's talks that possibly in Q4 we may have a vaccine, but even if we do, you know, a large chunk of the population is going to avoid the vaccine either because they don't like vaccines in general um, or just because they, they're worried it may have been pushed through. Even if there was no concerns, it's gonna take months to get everybody to get the vaccine ramped up, distributed, et cetera. So you can expect to see various measures of social distancing going on, but more importantly than just the official government rules that may come out. Um, you know, we did a survey a while back of our partners and what we saw was, um, hold on just a second guys. Sorry about that. Um, just our marketing checking in to find out why the webinar didn't start on time. Um, so um, what we're, we're, we found by talking to people was is that there's a lot of customers out there that are really worried about somebody coming into the office who they don't know um, and, and you know making sure that those people aren't bringing the virus with them. On the other hand, we're also hearing from our partners that some of their installers are actually hesitant about going on site because they don't want to be exposed to the customers. So these are things that are probably going to be sticking around for at least the next six months, if not much longer. Um, so we want to present Nebula here as a way to reduce or in some cases eliminate the needs to go to your customer's site to have to do these on-site visits. So let's talk a little bit about Nebula. Nebula is what we call our cloud solution. Um, specifically today, I'm talking about Nebula Control Center. Um, we also use Nebula terminology to refer to a couple of our other cloud products. So today we're talking about Nebula Control Center. So Nebula Control Center is our um, cloud-based management interface that can manage our access points, our switches, and our NSG series of security firewall gateways. Um, basically, it gives you centralized access to all of your devices, all of your customers, all of their networks. Everything is done through a single pane of glass. Um, there's no extra software or hardware that's required. Everything is done through the cloud. So Nebula covers um, our switches. So on the security side of things, it only works with, with our NSG series um, firewall products currently. Um, that will be changing next year, but at the moment it only works for those. On the switch side of things, we have the dedicated NSW switches, our GS1920 V2 switches, our GS1350 switches, our GS2220s, and our GS1930 switches all work with Nebula. And on the access point side of things, just about all of our access points work with Nebula. It's easier to say that than to go through all the different models that do and don't. So one of the most important questions we get asked is, you know, what about privacy, right? You go to your customer and you say, hey, we want to put your network management in the cloud. And they get kind of scared that that means their network traffic is going out to the internet. It is not. Nebula is purely about the management. So the only thing that's going out to our cloud is the management traffic. You log into the cloud, you make configuration changes, it pushes those changes to the devices themselves. The devices may send back some log information and other stuff back to the cloud, but none of your customers' traffic is going to the cloud. Traffic that goes out to the internet goes directly out to the internet. Traffic that's for the LAN stays on the LAN. So there's no concerns there. So one of the ways that Nebula helps keep you from having to do on-site visits is the fact that you don't really have to do anything to the physical hardware to do the initial setup. There is a QR code that's located on the bottom of each unit. 
and on the outside of the box. So all you need to do is use your phone, scan that QR code and assign it to a customer site. And that's all you need to do for setup. Um, once it gets plugged in and has power, it'll reach out to the cloud, find out whose network it belongs to and automatically update the firmware and download the configuration settings for that customer. So everything is being configured in most cases through our cloud. So you simply go to nebula.zicel.com, log in and all your customers, all of their devices are there. So there's no on-site configuration generally that needs to be done. The only exception to that is if they need fixed IP addresses, you do have to manually configure the device at least initially to use a fixed IP. But as long as you're using DHCP or static DHCP um, at the customer location, there's nothing that needs to be configured directly on the device itself. And you can start doing the setup and stuff before you've even received the equipment. So you can go in today, log into Nebula without even owning a Nebula device, create a customer account, create sites for that customer and start doing the basic configuration before you even settle on which exact equipment you're going to need to be ordering. And everything can be done in just a few minutes. So I can go through, log, log into Nebula, create a new account, set up an access point, set it up to have a guest network with a splash page and captive portal. And I can do all of that in less than five minutes. Um, the first time you plug in any Nebula device, it reaches out to the cloud. If you've assigned it to a customer, it will update the firmware automatically and download all the configuration. So Nebula doesn't require any extra hardware or software. There's no cloud keys or CNA devices that need to be added to the network. There's no virtual machine server software that needs to run on a PC somewhere nothing extra. Simply plug in the equipment at the customer site and you're ready to go. So you've always got access to your customers and to their networks anywhere you've got an internet connection. Most configuration is done through our web browser. Um, it'll work with any modern web browser. Um, and we do have a Nebula mobile app which provides you the ability to, to get a quick look at what's going on in your customers' networks and provide some basic configuration for the wireless network. So one of the other features here that Nebula does is it makes it really easy to do site-to-site -site VPNs. You simply log into Nebula, you choose the different sites you want to VPN together, you choose the topology, and it'll automatically create that for you, create that VPN connection. Um, we've also just recently added the ability to do L2TP um, scripting. So if your customer um, has a remote device that wants to get onto the network, um, if it's an iOS device, if it's a Mac OS device or a Windows device, you can email them the script that they run and it'll automatically configure the VPN network for them to be able to dial back into the corporate network. So all updates are done over the year. So there's no need to go on customer sites to make configuration changes. Uh, we've got some smart technology that looks at the configuration changes you're making and make sure that they're applied in the correct order that no devices lose connectivity. Um, we've all probably screwed up VLANs at some point or another and changed them in the wrong order and lost connectivity for some devices on the network. Nebula makes sure that doesn't happen. Nebula also handles all your firmware updates and that's customizable. You can go in and schedule when you want the updates done. You can schedule it for the entire customer site. You can schedule it for certain types of devices or schedule it for individual devices. So you can be really flexible as to how and when firmware updates are applied to the customer location. Going back to privacy here a little bit, um, we are a global company. So we comply with just about every rule that's out there or certification or compliance rule um, that needs to be done for various different things. Here in the US, we're concerned about HIPAA, we're concerned about PCI, no problem. If you go up and use this in a, for some customer sites in Canada, we comply with CSA, we're good there, as well as a number of other different um, requirements in Europe and elsewhere in the world. So if I haven't said it enough, all of your clients, you manage them through Nebula, through just the simple, easy to use interface here. And Nebula, the core functionality of Nebula is free. So there are no mandatory um, subscriptions that you need to pay for in order to be able to use Nebula. We do offer uh, something called Professional Pack, which unlocks some additional features, but it is by no means mandatory. Um, and if you do choose to use Pro Pack, you can always fall back to the free version if you choose not to renew it when it expires. So just showing you here a little idea of what the Nebula interface looks like when you log in there. 
um, you will see a list of all of your customers and a brief dashboard there showing you the status, whether they're using the free version of Nebula, the paid version of Nebula, how many sites they have, what's on, currently online, any devices that may be offline, et cetera. So you choose your customer. And you'll get a breakdown here of um, all the sites they have, assuming they have multiple sites. We do have Google Maps integration, so you can get a visual view of where the individual different sites are and drill down to them that way. And again, it's just a brief snapshot of what's going on on those individual sites. Um, another thing to talk about here real quick is when it comes to admins. Um, the free version of Nebula gives you five different admin accounts per, per uh, organization. Um, so you've got some flexibility there on your own team as to who has access to what. You can set up rules on a per site basis. So some people can be limited to only to access certain sites. You can choose to give them view only access or read write access. Um, we even have uh, special access fields in there just for installers that only allows them to add devices to a customer's site, not config view or change any of the configuration. We've got a view in there if you're providing guest services where a user can log in just to create guest access accounts to get onto the guest network, et cetera. So it's really flexible um, as to who has access to what and gives you a lot of control over that. So you're not just using one account that has access to everything. You can control that for your staff. So anyway, we drill in here to a specific site and it takes us to this dashboard here. So the dashboard gives us a good breakdown of what's going on. These modules here, um, these you can customize, you can choose to add or remove them. So you're seeing the information you wanna see. As you can see here, it's showing us how many APs are currently online, how many are experiencing heavy loading, um, showing you how many client devices are on there, how much of your POE budget is currently being consumed, et cetera. If you're using our NSG gateway, um, our app intelligence functionality here gives you a breakdown of individual apps, how much bandwidth you're using, as well as individual users. So you can see here, we can see exactly how much iTunes is using, um, for instance. So this is showing you here, if you go into the monitor section for a wireless access point, um, we're looking here at the clients. So this is showing us which clients are currently online versus offline, green versus red. Um, showing us the description for that, showing us which access point they're connected to, which SSID they're connected to, which the layer or type of security they're using, signal strength, transmit rate, RX rate, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see all that information there. We also chart a lot of this over time. So you can view and see what times of day things are peaking. So this is another view here showing us um, the switch view. So we can see here bandwidth over time, um, top users here. Um, and you can see here, we can also map where those physical, uh, physical devices are actually located at. So if you're looking to find out information about individual ports, um, we make that really easy for you here from the port view. You can see based on color, whether it, what speed, whether it's a 100 meg or a gigabit connection, whether PoE is being used or not on it. And if you wanna make changes, you can simply go in, choose which ports you wanna change and simultaneously um, make changes to the configuration across multiple ports, across multiple switches at the same time. So that's all stuff that's available in the free version of Nebula. Um, we'll talk a little bit about professional packs. So that's our paid version. It's very affordable. Um, you're looking at less than $40 per AP per year, for instance, for management, where say Cisco Meraki, you're paying probably around 140 a year, maybe 100 a year if you get it on sale. Um, so it's very, very affordable. So upgrading to the Pro Pack um, unlocks here a Wi-Fi health report. This works across now all of our access points. So it gives you the status of what's going on on your network on a client basis. So it highlights when client devices are having issues with the connection. So you can help sort of drop down and figure out what's going on. Are they just, you know, walking out to lunch? and the signal degrades as they go out in the parking lot or is there some part of the office or in the warehouse where it's not getting good enough coverage? This shows you that. You also have the ability to go in there and use some AI to make some changes to your network to help optimize things based on what we're seeing. Some other features we give here for you is we talked before about having multiple admin accounts. With the Pro Pack, you have an unlimited number of admin accounts. And we do um, an audit log. So we track every configuration change made um, and which user made that change 
for a full year. So if you're troubleshooting some problems, you can always log in there, see when something was changed, who made that change, so you can go and ask them what was going on, why they did it. Um, we keep a full year's worth of logs available in the cloud for you to access with the ProPack. Um, we give you custom reports, which you can either send to yourself to keep an eye on things, or you can send to your customer to show them what's going on on their network. You can add your logo to those when you send them out to your customer. We automatically create a topology view showing you which devices are plugged into which other devices. Again, it's a nice little tool to have if you're troubleshooting some network issues um, without having to go on site and track thing down, things down or trying to manually create a log of what's plugged into what. If you're doing IPTV, we've got a number of or a report that we generate here which tracks a lot of things gives you some suggestions for what's going on on the network, any issues that might be there and how to solve those issues. We also unlock a number of IGMP uh, settings that aren't normally available um, on the switches. So this is sort of a breakdown here of, of the report itself. I won't spend too much time on it, but it's just showing you, you know, which channels are being watched. Um, we use machine learning here to identify potential issues and alert you to those issues and suggest what we believe will maybe fix those for you. Um, so it's a nice little report to have if you're doing IPTV, such as in an apartment building um, or hospitality, we get a lot of it. So ProPack also allows you to use what are called configuration templates. Um, so it allows you to basically um, push out changes across multiple sites. Um, really easily or multiple devices, the ability to clone existing organizations or sites. You know, most things um, out there when you're setting up a new network, most of the settings are pretty much the same, right? It's just a few things that need to be tweaked for individual customers often. So that allows you to, you know, more quickly set things up and get things going, as well as create backup and restore points for you. We have another paid subscription. It's our security pack. So these will be our UTM licenses. So if you're using our NSG gateways and you're wanting to use the UTM functionality, this is the license you would buy. All of our NSGs come with one year out of the box of this license. So you don't have to buy a license on top of the hardware initially. Um, basically, it, it activates um, antivirus, IDP, content filtering, and a number of reports so you can see what's going on with those different features. So you can show your customer, look, you know, here's, here's what the antivirus blocked. Um, this report we're seeing on the screen right now, this is our content filtering. So it's showing you here's the websites people have been going to. Here's the ones that were blocked. Here's what categories they're seeing. Who, here's who actually tried to access them. So here's the antivirus report, similar type report showing you which attacks came in, where they came from, who, who, which device was targeted, et cetera. So Nebula is free. Again, it gives you the zero touch deployment, firmware updates, um, all your customers. Um, there, there's no limit to the number of customers, the number of devices, the number of sites you can manage. Smart Mesh, all, all the basic features are there. So upgrading to the professional pack gives you a lot more admin features, right? More reports more logs, more accounts, things like that. So the Pro Pack is available as either an annual license or as a one-time seat type perpetual license. So if you know you want to be using Pro Pack instead of having to renew it every year, you can simply buy the license one time and you're set. It is locked to the organization, not to the hardware. So as you swap out and upgrade hardware, you don't need to buy new licenses. It's just like a seat license, you know, just take out one AP, put in a new AP and you're good to go. And then there's the security pack, which is our IDP, antivirus, content filtering, and the reporting. So from a hardware standpoint, we've got four different security gateways that currently work with Nebula. It's our NSG series. And the main difference between all of these is just, you know, how much horsepower they have under the hood and the port configuration. So generally when trying to decide which one you, you want to use, you just look at what sort of traffic. Am I gonna use IDP? Or do I, am I going to leave that off and just focus on firewall? And then what sort of performance do I need? That's how you choose it. Um, all of our NSGs come with one year of ProPack as part of the bundle um, and one year of the uh, security UTM services. So on the switch side of things here, you can see we've got a number of different switches. Um, some of our products we're calling Nebula, Nebula Flex, and Nebula Flex Pro. So Nebula devices have to be used with Nebula. They do not work by themselves. 
These are in the process of being phased out here at some point in the near future. Nebula Flex devices can be used either as a traditional switch or you can choose to manage them in the cloud. It's really easy to switch between modes. You know, by default, they'll boot up, they'll be in standalone mode. If you wanna use them in the cloud, you scan that QR code, assign them to a customer, they'll automatically reboot into Nebula Managed mode. And if you ever wanna take them away from the customer, you simply unregister them from the, from the cloud and they'll go back to being a stand, standalone device. So really easy to do. Nebula Flex Pro is the same thing. The only difference is, is it comes bundled with one year of the Nebula Pro pack out of the box. So if you're thinking you want to use Nebula Pro Pack, it may make sense to buy something that's Nebula Flex Pro instead of just Nebula Flex. Um, so again, this works on our NSW switches only in the cloud, our GS1920 V2s, our XGS1930s, our XS1930s, our XS3800, GS2220s, and our GS1350 series switches. All of those can be managed by Nebula or used standalone. And then here's the really confusing chart um, of what's going on here with Nebula on the access point. So short version is just about everything is either Nebula, Nebula Flex, or Nebula Flex Pro. Um, so basically, there's a slight difference between the switch things. Um, so Nebula Flex products can either be used standalone or can be used with the Nebula Cloud. Nebula Flex Pro like the switches includes one year of Pro Pack, but Nebula Flex Pro products also can be used with our controllers, either our standalone NXC controllers or with the controllers that are built into our um, USG Zywall series products. Um, so you've got three modes of management that you can choose from for those. So the nice thing here is you can standardize on one or two models to use for all of your customers. You can use it in the cloud for customers where cloud makes sense. You can use them on a controller where a controller makes sense, or you can use them standalone where that makes sense. So we, we'd like you to, to try it out. We think if you play with it, you'll like it. So at any point here, you can just simply go to nebula.zycell.com log in with some credentials that are printed on the screen and we've got a live demo, multi-site demo you can play with. So you can give it, a, give it a, a try that way, but also we'd love to get you a demo kit. So as long as you're part of our partner program, um, so as long as you've joined and you qualify for our partner program, talk to your sales rep. So um, talk to David, talk to Jacob, um, and they can get you a 60 day demo with the right equipment for what you wanna do. So you can test this out yourself in person at your own lab or maybe at a customer site and, and give it a try. We really think you'll like it. So guys, with that, that concludes today's webinar. Um, sorry about the hiccups there at the beginning. Um, hopefully most of you were able to get back in and catch this. If you have any questions, send them to me through the Q&A window. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. Alternately, uh, my email's up there on the screen. It's seanr at zycel.com. S-H-A-W-N-R at zycel.com. Um, so um, you can email me offline with any questions you have, feedback on today's presentation, suggestions for other types of presentations you'd like to see us do in the future. You know, we're always trying to make these as valuable as possible for you and we don't wanna be wasting your time. So if we've been doing that, let us know. Okay, so Paul's got a good question here. Let me go ahead and read it out. Um, I'm a consultant. Is there a way for me to set up an account for my customer, configure everything, and then pass control to my customer, but still being an admin unless the customer chooses to disallow me? So yeah, so when you set up a Nebula account, um, the original account that sets it up is what we call the owner. The owner owns that account and cannot be removed by any other admins. Um, so if you set something up, you become the, uh, the owner of it, and you can always create then a second admin account um, and, and just make them um, have full edit access to the, to the site and give them access to that, but you could still be the owner. Alternately, you can transfer ownership once you have things set up um, and have and assign it to then your, your end customer there. So at the moment, you have to do that by reaching out to our tech support. But I believe in the new update that comes out next week, um, we'll finally have an interface where you can um, simply do it all through the Nebula interface. Simply take the site that you own and assign it to a new owner. Um, and then vice versa, the, the new owner can give you an admin account on that site where they can have access to whatever, whatever he deems it needs to be. 
Um, so also if that customer, you've given them ownership and you've added some new sites without you, you know, you, they can give you admin access just to those sites that you initially set up. And if they choose to keep you from being able to see those other sites. So I hope that answers that question. Um, I don't have any other questions coming in, so I'm gonna go ahead and end today's webinar. Um, if you were typing something in, just go ahead and highlight it, copy it, and just email me. Um, Sean R. Oh, I got another question from Paul. We'll go ahead and answer that. Paul's last question, and when I'm done, if no other questions are here, um, I'll end things. And again, just feel free to email me directly. Um, so Paul is asking, how does the organizational ProPAC license work for partners who do configurations for clients? Um, do both the clients and partners have to buy seat licenses and how many? Um, so the way the ProPAC work is it, it's based on a per device basis. Um, so ProPAC, if you're just buying the annual license, um, it's applied across the entire um, organization. So that would be your customer. So in, in Nebula terms, your customer is an organization and then they may have one or more sites under that organization. So ProPAC licenses are applied to the organization um, across the board. So if you are mixing, um, you know, you've bought some products that are Nebula Flex, some products that are Nebula Flex Pro, um, those licenses are converted into points and then distributed across all devices on the network. Um, so let's say you've got two access points, um, you, you're, you're assigning to a, a new site, one comes with a one-year ProPAC license, one does not. Once you set both of those devices into that organization, you will see that you've got six months of ProPAC because it's converted that ProPAC one-year license into points and then distributed across both access points. Um, the reason we do that is so everything expires at the same time. So if you add devices at different times, you're not having to manage multiple different expiration points. Um, so that's how it works there. So it's, it's just based on the device itself or the organization. So you, you buy licenses based on that. Um, if you go into the Nebula interface, there's a license page. Um, you can choose, say, a certain date you want things to expire, and it'll tell you how many points you need to do that. And it'll also show you based on your current points um, when things are going to expire for everybody. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you're buying the perpetual license, it's based again on devices. So um, if you convert an organization over to a lifetime license, um, all devices on that network will need to have a lifetime license and it's basically seat based. So you would buy say 10 access point licenses, five switch licenses, one gateway license, and those will be assigned to that organization. Um, so at no point, um, do you have to buy a new license unless you're adding additional hardware? If you're swapping out hardware, let's say you, you need a you need a high, heavier duty uh, security gateway, you just remove the old gateway, add the new gateway, and it just takes that seat. You've got one license per the gateway, you've got 10 licenses for whatever APs you decide to assign to that organization. So I hope that makes sense. Um, the free version of Nebula, as far as admins go, gives you five admin accounts per organization. Uh, ProPAC gives you an unlimited number of admin accounts. Um, so that way each user gets their own admin account. And like I said, there's granular access to which, which type of uh, features they have access to, which sites they have access to. So with that guys, um, I, I don't have any other questions, so I'll go ahead and end it. But again, feel free to email me offline if uh, you've got something that pops up um, that you'd like to ask. Thanks guys.